All right, you want to do research and you want to make ChatGPT work for you, make it easier and faster for you to understand what's going on in that space, where the gap is. So let's do it. Again, the goal here is not to make an article that you're going to turn in or submit anywhere. It's to make it easier for you to understand what's happening and how you can make research ideas, research articles that people care about. And, you know, maybe you want to use this for a thesis in undergrad or a PhD application, a grad school application, like something that you want to sink into a little bit deeper. So these are key words that I have found helpful. You want a scientific journal article, you want literature citations, and you want to know about the gap in our knowledge on some area that you care about. I'm using textile waste recycling as an example here. Big gap, like we can do a lot better in this space, so that's important. And then we're going to get into the challenges. And then that's where you want to hone in. Like that's where research lives, right? The challenges. We don't solve problems that have already been solved. We want to dig deeper into stuff that we don't really know, you know, the best way to do something. So that's what we're doing here with, if they identify something that you are interested in, then I would ask another question about that because that'll help you get deeper. Maybe you want to think more about the chemical process versus the mechanical. So I would say, you know, what can we say? a scientific article on the chemical processes used for textile recycling and what research is needed to improve this process with general citations. So it's going to give you more background again about like what textile recycling is and then a little bit deeper into the chemical process so again if you don't know this like this is important information because you want to know a little bit more about the space depolymerization and so here this is identifying the challenges high energy inputs hazardous byproducts negative environmental impacts so I would make that the research topic potentially and so then I would say, okay, new technologies can be efficient. So what research is going to Okay, so then it gives you these different options, right? So if you wanted to write a research idea or proposal, I would pick one of these, right? So like supercritical fluid recycling, that sounds interesting to me. So what don't we know about enzyme-based recycling of textiles? Let's see if it can tell me. Ooh. So right, then you could say, hey, first we need to know if these enzymes are stable, right? And you could dig into that. Compatible fibers. Oh, okay, yeah. So, like, maybe enzyme works for one fiber but not the other. Like, so these are great ideas, right? Then you could just say, hey, I want to just determine optimal enzymes for eight different fibers. Or I want to find one enzyme that works on all fibers, right? Like, whatever thing that you're interested in or you think would make a good research pitch or idea, that's where you want to focus. All right, so then they give you these sources where you can look up. Great. Well, I hope you understand how to use ChatGPT as a starting point for your research to really point you in the right direction quicker and faster. I mean, it's amazing.